This video demonstrates how to create a map visualization in Tableau. Using state names and sales total, this video also demonstrates how to add labels to the map. As a reminder, Tableau calls the green or blue ovals that appear when we hover over our measure or dimension pills. To move a pill onto the canvas, we have three options. You can double click on the pill. This will automatically place the pill in the rows or columns field as Tableau interprets it. Remember, we can undo any action by clicking on the back arrow at the top left hand side of our screen, or you can hit Control Z on your keyboard. Alternatively, we could click on the pill and drag it over to the canvas. And again, the rows or columns field will auto populate based on Tableau's interpretation of the data. Or finally, if you want to dictate how the measure or dimension appears on your visualization, then you can click on it and drag it directly to the rows or columns menu. Now that we have our data loaded into Tableau, we're in our worksheet and we know how to move pills onto our worksheet, we're going to create our map of the United States showing all of the locations where the popcorn products were shipped. Under the dimensions menu, go ahead and find state and double click. A map automatically appears with all states where popcorn was shipped automatically shown using a single dot. Tableau refers to this map as a symbol map. We can change the look of the map using the show me menu. If we click in the upper right hand corner, then we will find all of the visualizations that are, pro that are possible. And we can go ahead and click on the map option, which is right next to the symbol map option. Now our map of the United States appears with all of the states in one color. We can click back on Show Me to hide that menu and see the full map visualization. This map is not any more useful than the symbol map since both maps tell us that our popcorn has been shipped to every state. Right now, what we know is that we have potential for economic nexus in every state. To identify whether we have met the economic nexus threshold for each state, we need to add the details for each state as labels so that we can help our client quickly evaluate whether they've established economic nexus from our map visualization. We will begin by adding the state name to the label marks by clicking once on the state pill again under the dimensions menu and dragging it over to the label under the marks option. We can see the state names, but we don't see them for every state just yet. Don't worry, that's simply due to the proximity of some states and the zoom on our screen size. If we hover over the state, we will see that the state name appears. We could also use our zoom button, which is our plus symbol in the upper left hand corner of our map, to see the state names. The problem here is though, now we can't see the entire United States. To move around the map, we'll need a draggable marker, so go ahead and select the right hand arrow and then click over on the four-way option. And now we'll be able to navigate around our map using our zoom and draggable markers. One common economic nexus threshold is the dollar value of total sales for each state. It will be useful to add the dollar value of total sales to our map. Under our measures, go ahead and locate the total sales and drag it over to label. We should always be mindful of proper formatting when creating our visual, since the goal of the visual is to make it easy for a person to identify the important information. In this case, we'd like the dollar symbol to appear in front of the total sales figure we just added to the map. To change the format of the dollar value, hover over the pill under our marks option and click on the down arrow that appears on the right side. Select Format from the quick menu that appears. A formatting pane opens up on our left hand side where our dimensions and measures used to be. Under the default number option, we can see here numbers. Click on the down arrow and select currency custom. The customization that we'd like is we'd like it to have no decimal places. So we can either highlight it and type in zero or we can use the down arrow to reduce that down to zero. As long as you're good with all of the other configurations, go ahead and click off. And then to close our format pane, go ahead and click the X. The other thing that we should note is that the default measure is added as the sum of all of the sales into a state. 
based on your research of economic nexus thresholds, you're going to want to consider whether you need an alternate measure, such as average, count, or count distinct. To change the measure from sum to something else, go ahead and again hover over that same pill, select the down arrow that appears, and then we can see the option here for measure sum, and we'll have the option to make it average, median, count, count distinct, and so on and so forth. Again, if you change it to another measure and you decide that you need to go back, recall that we can always undo our actions by simply clicking on this back arrow or clicking Control-Z 